Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I am so excited to be here as part of a blog hop and it's also a giveaway but I'll explain that a little bit later for Alter New and it's a new Builder Flower set. This one's called the Anemone Coronaria and I know that's a mouthful right but it's a gorgeous set. I adore anemones. I struggle to say the word <laughs> I've been practicing so hopefully I've got it right anyway you might have guessed what my one of my favorite things about the Alter News stamps and especially these Builder Flower sets is a lot of them they're a layering stamp set but a lot of them also have an outline of the image so that means that your there's so many options and what I thought I would share with you today was um, coloring it with the artist markers so I've uh, just recently been down at the beach and had a lovely week sitting in the Sun I took a heap of images with me and colored so you're not going to see all of the coloring of all of the images today but what I decided to do was actually show you how I colored uh, one of the leaves and one of the flowers. So Alton use greens, the, the three greens, well they're the same as the original ink colors and you might notice that the evergreen is quite a dark color so I'm using the tip to tip techniques. So I'm using the middle color to pick up some of the dark color and then dragging it out from the center of the leaf. So if you're worried that a color is too dark and it's going to be too difficult to blend, then this is a great technique. The other thing I do is come back over with the lightest color and that will kind of remove some of the previous color and help it to blend a bit better. I don't get too worried about the leaves because realistically you're not going to see a lot of the leaf. Most of it's going to be tucked behind the flower anyway. So don't stress too much. The flowers are the focal point. Well generally speaking. <laughs> and speaking of which I've used the purple colors today and I'd done some darker versions and some lighter versions I really went to town with these flowers and I've even made more that I haven't put together on a card yet but I, I will get to that I'm trying to be good at finishing things off and if I have got spare bits and pieces using them to make a card there's no point having them sitting there doing nothing <laughs> so Originally when I colored this particular flower I just used the two colors on the leaf here but um, you'll notice I do come back in and add a third purple and that just helped I think to add a little bit more depth and shading. So obviously the darkest part of the petal is right at the center so that's where I'm focusing my darkest color. And that's where the shadows would be and I'm also using a bit of white so where I can I'm leaving a, like a little bit of the white cardstock showing not much it just looks like a highlight on the leaf and it doesn't have to be uniform flowers aren't uniform shadows aren't uniform so if you can kind of have a look at the flower and think maybe where the light might be touching but if not don't get too hung up on it because a lot of it gets tucked behind other flowers anyway and you don't see it especially if you've got lots of flowers I've got three big flowers I'm going to put on my card today and this purple was just such a fun color to, um, to use I haven't used a lot of these the purple artist markers before so pretty happy with how they turned out because one of these the 705 I think it is is a real sort of vibrant pinky purple color I love it I just wanted to explain a little bit about the blog hop giveaway if you head over to my blog in the description below this video will have a link to it you will be able to find all the other creators that are in this blog hop and 
all the instructions. If you leave a comment there, you're in with a chance to win a gift certificate to Alter New. So head over through the link and I'd love to see you at my blog. Alright, so I do use the Mini Blossom to die cut these images out. They fit through the machine perfectly. The machine just sits right in front of me. It's really convenient. And I really like it for sentiments too. I've been using it a lot for um, sentiments that I want to die cut. Now I wasn't sure where I was going to go with this card, but what I decided in the end was to actually stamp out a background on the front of my card. It's a top fold card and I'm using the Silverstone ink and the two flower images that come in this set. I have die cut the other flowers and leaves that I'd already made and I'm just adhering those in place. I'm using my tape runner and I'm also popping a couple of the flowers up. I've created uh, like a border of uh, the dark grey cardstock to sit behind the flowers. I thought that would just help um, pop the images up off the card. And I've got to say, I think this dark flower is probably my favourite of all the ones today on this card. Now for the sentiment, I've used one of the sentiments from the same stamp set and I wasn't, um, I was originally going to stamp it out in the black but I actually used the industrial diamond and I think it just gave it enough, enough depth that you can see it but it's not overpowering. I thought it's quite a busy card for me. I've popped up my panel and I'm just adhering that near the top of my top fold card and that's my finished card. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to head to my blog for your chance to win if you're here in September 2018. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.